you getting a seizure? Hello, happy Wednesday. It's hump day. I hope you're humping around even as we speak. It'd be hard to hump around and watch this video at the same time. But I believe in you. Well, I watched Super Tuesday. All eight hours of it. Actually, I kind of gave up after midnight. As soon as I figured out Ron Paul probably wasn't going to win Alaska, which made him 0 for 10 on last night, it wasn't as much fun to watch. So, pretty sure it's going to be a Romney deal. And then we'll see how bad he can carry it up so that uh, Obama gets a second term. That'll be a treat. You know I'm a political guy, although... I can't stand either party too much, but I have been going out for Ron Paul, and I have to devote one more Saturday to get some Minnesota delegates elected for Ron Paul. What happened to his ear? Interesting. I guess the logo's always been like that. It's my old logo shirt. This shirt is very popular at the Target Center, by the way. If you go there, there are lots of people wearing this shirt, and yet... They won't go back to this logo. Ah. Listen to the fans. Ah. At least they're winning. Got the Trailblazers tonight. And we beat the Trailblazers last week. I say we even though I'm not on the team. But I am the all-important sixth man. So hopefully they will win again. And if they do so, that will not only keep the Blazers behind the Timberwolves. Currently, Timberwolves only have a half game on them, so if they lose, they end up going behind a half game. That's how math works, by the way. Be one and a half up on the Blazers, and darn close to the Rockets, who they beat several times for the eighth and final playoff spot. And I don't know if the Rockets played tonight or not. I guess I could look it up. I can multitask while I talk to you. NBA.com says, tonight... Houston, wow, there's 13 games. Houston's got to be in one of them, right? Houston's playing the Raptors. Ooh, they'll probably win. Have you seen the Toronto court, by the way? They're the first ones to have that wacky paint job that makes it look like it's standing up, a 3D board, even though it's just paint on the ground. It's that optical illusion that comes from the camera looking at it at a certain angle. I hope you've seen that. Oh, fans, I hope you've been there. That's about the most memorable thing about the Raptors right now, unfortunately for Toronto fans, which I'm sure I have at least one watching this video. But the big game is Minnesota and Portland, which is not being televised as far as I know. So fire up your league pass. Or one of those illegal streaming sites. I wonder if you heard that. I don't think I even have any comments to get to, which is why I'm kind of farting around again. But, I mean, I covered politics and basketball. What more can you want? I'm a renaissance man. Uh, let's see, nothing on Facebook. G+, actually, I did get feedback from Kevin Donahue, the one guy who uses Google+. Thank you again, Kevin. Kevin said, upset of the week. I pronounced Donahue correctly. Well, how many ways are there to pronounce it? I guess without a silent G. Actually, without the silent G, it would sound the same. Without a G that was silent, who cares? I believe there was one comment on the W, but it wasn't anything I could talk about. But I'll pull it up anyway, because Greg's going to eventually get to this. Apparently he waits, though. I watched three of these in a row to get caught up. The first minute of the last one made me seasick with all the camera shifting. What do you mean, this? Oh, is it an earthquake? No, it's me moving the camera around. Whoa! Look at the ceiling. All right. I think the wolves are to be feared, as you should fear all wolves. I think they'll beat the Lakers Friday. Boy, you know, I've still, I'm too much of a Kings fan to ever think 
positive thoughts like that, but I shouldn't be thinking negative thoughts either. Why can't we beat the Lakers? We have beaten the Lakers this year, haven't we? I think we did. Go back and check. I think they'll beat the Lakers Friday, and they'll find a way into the playoffs this season as well. And I think you're right. People are starting to come around on that. That guy who runs the computer simulations currently has Minnesota as the eighth seed and the most likely to get the eighth seed, even above teams that currently have a better record. I think it's because there are a lot of home games left for us and a lot of road games left for them. Although, interestingly, this isn't interesting at all, but we have four games this week, as I've said, four games at the Target Center Monday, today, Friday, Saturday. No slumber party on Friday. But after that, it's 15 days of no home games. And so they're on the road for, I think, seven... Yeah. Seven games before coming back. Two weeks from Sunday. Two weeks from Sunday? Indeed. So, hopefully, 4 no home stand. It's going to be iffy. Today, I think we got Lakers are going to be tough, and then Saturday is the Hornets. And on a back-to-back... Could probably still get them right. The Hornets good this year? They're not that good. And then seven row games, ugh, just gonna be awful. But I think they're that road swing is against some bad teams, and I think it's with a day of rest almost all the time. No one cares about the Timberwolves as much as I do, so I shouldn't be talking about them so much. But it's what I got going on in my life, man. It's so warm out. There's no more snow, so I can't talk about idiots driving in the snow that I make fun of because they stop because there's four inches of snow and they get caught in it. And then I worry that they got so slow that they're going to slow me up and I'll get caught in the snow. It doesn't happen. I know how to drive in the snow. And I got decent tires that I hardly ever use. Speaking of time and temperature, it's currently 526 and the official temperature is 35 degrees. When I left the house, it was 46, and I was like, geez, I shouldn't wear a coat. But then I remembered it was going to start out high. In fact, I believe it was still over 50 uh, at midnight, and that was going to be the high of the day. It was just going to kind of slowly, not plummet, but some less drastic word for get lower all day. And it may get below freezing, which will be very interesting because there is a lot of water out there right now. There's a lot of standing water, especially behind my garage, which I tried to bush out of the way, but more snow melts just behind it, and it's kind of collecting. And the little channels where the water drain away haven't been made them, haven't made themselves prominent yet, so it's just kind of standing water right now, which would be a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. But fortunately, it's still too cold. Like, I had to worry about mosquitoes in March. Well, who knows? It's been that kind of year. Maybe summer before we know it. They still say it might be 70 next week. Maybe. But no shorts for me for the rest of the week. Got my pants on. And with thoughts of pants, I'm going to wrap up today. And why not? Because I'm already over nine minutes. Thank you once again for sticking around. Thank you for liking, commenting. Actually, you're not doing that at all. Why aren't you liking and commenting? I would prefer you comment so I can respond to it. But you can like it as well. Or plus one like Kevin does. All those things let me know you're out there. Which is all I really need to keep going. Although I'll probably keep going even if I don't know you're out there. I may just get weirder though. Nobody wants that. All right. Ciao.